So I am back with another Starfield video and today guys I bring you the location of 5 incredible unique weapons you can easily miss. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video leaving a like really helps me and the channel out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So playing this game and making the wrong or even right choices sometimes can lead you to missing something special. Or if you don't loot a certain spot when the time is right, you can completely miss something great. Now Starfield is full of uniques, but today I bring you 5 of the best weapons you can easily miss. Okay so first up guys we have the Gallows Reach. This AK looking little beast is definitely not one to turn your nose up at. This is a great and powerful little monster and while you can easily miss this one. Now what I will say is, when you first get the opportunity to grab this thing, even if you don't, up until a certain point in the story you can come back. If you are at the point where I am at, where you are able to go into that new game plus, you may have missed this thing and missed the opportunity to come back and get it, so you have to wait until you get into that new game plus. So during the main campaign, about halfway through, maybe about two thirds through, you will hit a mission called No Sudden Moves. Here you have to make your way onto the skull, I believe it's pronounced skull, skull, scout, who cares. But either way guys, you need to get onto this ship. Now it's on this ship where this item is located. Now when you first get on here, all is civil. But you have to persuade the main man of Petrov to hand over the artifact, that's why you are here. I mean this can go a few ways, so I wouldn't really worry too much about the dialogue choices you make because this weapon isn't affected by that. So this weapon is located within Petrov's room, which is just behind where you would meet him where he's lying on that couch. I actually went back to the scale ship uh, way after I did this mission, uh, so on screen now guys is the exact location of this weapon from as soon as you board this ship. Okay so next up guys we have another weapon tied to the gains campaign in regards to it becoming available once you hit a certain point. So the weapon itself in my opinion is one of the more powerful weapons you can get in this game it's called the Mutineer. It holds 6 shots but it bursts deals hefty damage so it basically does like 2 shots of 3 bullets but it is an absolute monster. Okay so an early campaign mission called Into the Unknown. This is where this weapon first becomes available. But don't worry if you are past this point already, you can still get this thing. Now the only one thing you will need to get this weapon is one rank into that security skill for that lock picking and also a couple of digipicks. So it's at this point where you will meet Vladimir. It's down to dialogue choices here where this becomes available to you. So upon docking onto the I space station where you first meet and speak to Vladimir, he eventually should show a dialogue option of you learning about his past. It should state, so you tired from the Crimson Fleet, didn't know what happened. Upon you clicking on this, you will unlock an activity called Vladimir's House. This is where the weapon lies. 
Now, if you didn't do this the first time you spoke to Vladimir Wapanda I, you can still trigger this by finding him within your current playthrough. He should be at the lodge, guys. This is within New Atlantis and Jameson upon Alpha Century. So upon having this activity and tracking this activity, it sends you to Vladimir's villa, which is located on Surma 7. And this is within the Surma galaxy as seen on screen now. Now, once you've loaded in, follow the path up the hill to his house. Once you're inside, make your way down the stairs. You will come to this door, which requires you to use a digipick on this advanced lock so go ahead and open this door once you do inside on his desk this weapon is waiting for you so go grab it next up guys we have a weapon i do believe you can go and get at any time but it is a great unique item which is why i've added it today it's also one I don't see many people covering. So this weapon is called the Trick Shot and it does have a unique skill to it. Every fourth shot fires two projectiles at once, which really does work well in regards to that damage output people. So how you get this thing is straightforward. So you want to head to the Nerean system and then onto the planet Nera. Then land at that one of a kind spot. Once you are here guys, simply follow the path I take on the screen. You may see red lasers belonging to turrets. These ignored me so they should do you. But if they don't, take them out. But you guys, come and get this weapon. Okay, so next up guys, we have an amazing pistol called the Ember, but with this one comes a ship too. So today I will cover both here. Okay, so this ship is called the uh, Datura, I believe it's pronounced, and it's definitely worth you checking out. The weapon is called the Ember, it's a laser pistol, nothing special in its rarity, but it's still a great, great weapon to use and collect. Okay, so both of these items are tied to a side quest, which is started upon Neon. Neon is found within the Volai system. Uh, so go to the Volai system, you can see right here guys, in your map, or on your map, then select the Volai Alpha. And upon this guys, select the destination called Neon. So upon Neon, this is a quest that does just pop up. I was running down the main area, and as you can see on screen now guys, the quest just popped up on screen. The one you are looking for is called Back to the Grind. So the quest starts off with you having to apply for a job, which is done at any of these terminals which you'll see down the main stretch. I legit was just pressing anything here, but if you want to make sure you get selected for this hookup of a job interview, choose what I do on screen now. From here guys, you simply go and meet Imogen and start doing jobs for her. To be honest, the quest up to the point of me getting this ship took me under an hour but could be way less if you know what you're doing. 
So after the initial back to the grind quest, you are simply doing jobs for Imogen. These are simple and straightforward jobs, each taking probably 5 to 10 minutes. The only one thing you need a simple experience in is novice lot picking, and you're good to go. So six short quests later, you come to the one which you get these items from. It's called Top Secrets. Now in this one, run the quest up to a point of you having to speak and meet Simon. It's this guy which branches off into his own quest for you. And this is where you get this weapon and this ship. Now what I will say is guys, if you press the wrong dialogue choice, you completely miss the chance of getting this. And I ain't sure if there's another one. There could be, but I do not know. So from here guys, for upon meeting Simon, choose the dialogue options I go for. Make sure you don't pay him any credits and then select let's hear about this side job. This is where you want to be. I need to find a real bar. You lost? Or just come to ask another work miner. If only good. Speaking of, you're damn right. <laughs> I have information. It's my belief. It's steep. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a steep. Glad you see. Reed. From here, guys, the next step in this quest is to find the the Tura in Saturn's orbit. So this is where you need to go. So as soon as you get to Saturn's orbit, you will be welcomed by the pilot of this Latura ship. Now, if you did follow the dialogue, you'd know her name is Malay. So from here, guys, you need to get on board her ship. So use the dialogue choices I choose to be invited on. You're going here. I'll decide whether or not to strip you for selfish. for a lot of people and none of them are any business of yours oh yeah from what yours the only thing around here that looks like a threat to me so give me one good reason why i shouldn't feed you to the void So once you are on here guys, it's simple. You can speak to her and try and persuade her to hand over her gun as proof you killed her for Simon. You can just simply kill her and take her gun. It's completely up to you here. I persuaded her to hand over her gun, the Ember. So from here guys, all you have to do is literally sit down in that pilot's seat. Once you've sat down, travel to any other planet. I literally just carried on with the quest. And that next destination I landed on. At, I went into my menu and simply registered the ship. And from here, guys, the ship and weapon are yours. It really is as simple as that, people. Okay, so lastly today, guys, we have the Experiment A7. This is an incredible weapon tied to a late game campaign mission called The Entangled. Now, I have made a prior in-depth video on how this mission works and what you should be doing, but the weapon itself is obtained before any of that is needed. But if you are at the stage and need help, you'll find that video guide linked down below within the video description. This mission can also reward you Legendary Gear 2. So once you have started up this mission, guys, you eventually come to this point here, where you go to the Nashina Research Station and meet Ethan for the very first time. Now, as you quickly progress this mission, you start to pop in and out of realities. What the? Easy, easy! What the hell was that? Here, just go with the flow and do as instructed. 
Uh, you will then pop into uh, another reality. This is what we call a burnt reality. Um, this is where you first meet Raphael. Again, just go with the flow and you will meet a few more NPCs like Dr. Patel and Maria. Here, just progress on. Now, after all the popping in and out of the normal reality and the burnt reality, eventually, guys, you'll pop back into the normal reality after you spoke to Dr. Patel and Maria a few times behind Ethan Hughes. This is your chance to get the experiment A7. What you should do here is create a save before talking to him because, again, you have one chance. If you don't persuade him to help you, you miss out on this weapon. So again, you need to persuade him to help you. Dialogue choices can be random but on screen now are exactly what I selected and he helped me and he gave me this weapon. So do as I do on screen now guys, if it helps you, great. Uh, sure. Yeah, let me get the doors. And done. Is there any... Uh, yes, Kataxi. The original survey team ran across them. The Kataxi in the other universe. I got an experiment to think one of the engineers. Oh my god, you're serious, aren't you? Yeah, I hope so. I might be able to do that after all. All right, yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours. And there you have it guys, the experiment A7 is yours. Now from this point you progress onto that legendary gear if you make the right calls. Again guys, if you need help you will find my video link down below. But that's it for today people, 5 amazing uniques you do not want to miss. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me in the channel out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.